Oh my god, there's loads in here. There's loads in here. Look at this one. Wow. Okay, that is tons of loot. Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play 7 Days to Die Alpha 17 Stable. We are now on episode 5 of our holiday series, so hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome back, and we are going to go ahead and, in this episode, we, we have a little bit of uh, overnight stuff to do, so I'll probably go ahead and do all the, uh, you know, the usual overnight grind off camera. If we're doing any cool hunting of zombies and stuff, though, I'll be sure to, uh, I'll be sure to display that as well so you guys can see. But uh, before the nighttime hits, I wanted to go and see if we could at least clear a little bit of this building, because um, I I haven't seen this one before. This is the uh, the, the special tots, um, and I've not seen this building before. So I'm wondering if we could maybe have some cool stuff here. There's actually a school bus here. Let's have a quick look on there. See if there's anything good in here. But I kind of want to see if we can maybe. Uh, okay, so crossbow bolts on a school bus. Okay, so it looks like uh, yeah, looks like that would go down very very well with the locals, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the place that I want to go ahead and see if I can loot um, up next. But let's have a look. There's some glue in here as well, which is a very good start. And I also want to see if uh, I really need to get myself. Um, um, more arrows because I'm running I, I've run out of arrows I've, got, I've literally got like four arrows left so looks like to get in here I've got to jump over here and then we can come inside um, and we are now inside so there's like a little uh, sandy area right here let's go ahead and get everything we can um, I wonder if there's anything up in these uh, climbing climbing frames or anything doesn't look like it but maybe we need to use these to get into the building so where is where is the way in i wonder that's 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 what i'm wondering where the, where the hell the way into this place is because it doesn't look like it's back here or anything uh can we climb this pipe no because it looks like you kind of have to go through there but at the same time it's like there's not really that much in the way there uh there's a nest here though so i'm gonna grab that uh hopefully we get some more some more feathers and an egg as well not bad uh but yeah i definitely need to be um i definitely need to be focusing uh pretty soon on getting some arrows up together ah here we go the, the entrance is actually right around the front here okay so we're gonna go ahead and make our way into here i'm gonna start looting this place because i need to go ahead and see if we can find some other good stuff uh pretty much build up my ammo supply would be very very handy um and we're gonna pretty much try and blitz through here not worry too much about the sleepers. Just you know, try and try and kind of blitz through it and go from there. There's actually quite a load, uh, quite a load of them here. There you go. So there's another one there. Okay, uh, let's make our way out of here. Knock him down. Okay, let's uh, let's guide them out the building here. So before it turns nighttime, I want to try and clear as many of these sleepers out as we can. So let's face it, I can't use the arrows right now. There's so many zombies here. Look at this. This is awesome, right? Come on, guys. Knock him out. Knock him out. Knock her out. Knock him out. And uh, I think we've got the headmaster right here. And we level up. Nice. We now have one skill point to spend. Right, come here, you. Let's go and knock you straight out. And... Bam! Oh, okay. Now, I guess that was the headmaster's assistant. This is the uh, this is the true headmaster. Let's go and knock this guy out. So he's the uh, the head of the the head of the daycare right there. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, finish him off. There you go. So I'm not going to loot anything right now. I'm literally just going to try and go through the building and clear out everything I can. Um, and then we can go from there. So I'm thinking... This bit behind the blackboard, I think there might be some Zeds behind here. Sometimes you've got to watch out for those things, because usually that's where you'd find them. But it looks like there's actually no one in this section right here. So it's going to open up these areas as well, just to make sure there's no... Okay, it looks like there's something above me there, but that doesn't lead anywhere. So this is just a storeroom, nothing in there. We're going to open all the areas. I just want to make sure all the sleepers have been cleared out. Looks like this is one of the uh, one of the offices. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much like a mini school. Pretty cool. Um, so let's go through here, make sure no one's in there. There is a toilet in here. There's, there's going to be something behind there. Again, as I said, I'll go ahead and like loot it all later. Right now, I just want to focus on getting the, the place cleared out before the nighttime hits. So let's go ahead and work on that. And I think that's probably the best thing we can do. Um, so we're pretty much going to pretty much like blitz through the building and go from there. So hopefully we're not going to run into too much resistance right here. But I think there is some Zeds that are going to fall down on us from here. Yeah, there's one guy up there. Okay, he's fallen in. Let's make sure no one else is like coming up from uh, behind me right there as well. Got to be a little bit careful. Okay, so he's going to go ahead and destroy the spikes, I think. There we go. And let's kill him. Looks like these spikes don't really do that much damage to Zeds anymore. So we've got a future girl back there. Um, I don't know if there's more up here, so we're going to go ahead and just like run through this area. Um, oh, you actually jumping over? Okay. Let's go ahead and go ahead and uh, sort you out. I can wipe you in the leg. Okay, well, I could. There you go. She's taken out. So how do we get through this bit? It looks like we kind of have to just 
breakthrough here, I guess. Um, I guess the easier one would have been to whack our way through the safe here, but I guess we got to break our way through here. Oh, this guy's going to come and help us. Okay. In that case, let me try and attack him in the leg just to try and get some damage off on him. There you go. Get a bit of damage on him and kill him. There you go. There you go, that will help. And let's keep making our way through here. So this bit, I don't think it's going to have any drop-ins. Uh, there's some open bits in the ceiling there, though, but I don't think that's going to have any drops, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and just take care of all these guys. Right, so I think she's caught in the barbed wire there, so that's fine. Let's deal with this one on the right-hand side first. Make sure no one's coming up from behind as well. Okay, no, I think we're good. All right, come on then. One. There we go. And this one. There we go. Very nice. And there's a cooking pot right there. I'll go ahead and just grab that. But yeah, let's go and clear this area out first, and then we'll worry about the others. Okay, we got uh, a Mr. Edgar right here. All right, it's 2110. It's going to have to be a little bit careful here. All right, let's finish you off. Power attack and a regular attack should be good enough for you. There you go. And regular attack on you. That should get him out of the way. There we go. So those guys are now finished off. Uh, let's see. Is there any more up in this section here? Doesn't look like it. Let's keep uh, let's keep battling our way through here then. Uh, we're just going to... Oh, hello. There we go. Right. Knock you down. How dare you attack me? How dare you stun me? That is against, that is against the rules. You cannot stun me. Okay. Well, well, yeah. Okay. Fine. Yes, you can, but it's not, it's not nice. So, yeah. You, you shouldn't do that. Okay, so food is going down below 100, so we're going to have to go ahead and heal up a little bit there. And let's see, there's two ways we can go. So let me have a look in here first. Anyone in here? Uh, anyone going to drop in on this section? Doesn't look like it. I think we're all good there. And in this section right here, there's a, la okay, there's a ladder up here. Okay, here we go. So this is going to take us to the top. So I think this is where we just were. Um, and this should take us to the next area. Um, in here, so let's have a quick look through here. Nothing really much here. So let's go and break through this little bit right here. So I'm not sure where we're meant to go here, but let's try and really, really quickly navigate through here. Um, let's see if we can clear this out. Okay, so we gotta go. Uh, there's a. Actually, no, don't search it yet. Just work on getting through the area first, and then we'll search afterwards. Uh, right, so run across that one. Um, okay, there's a duffel bag over that way. Uh, it's not that way though, is it? Where do we go from here? Where do we go? I'm really not sure actually. I'm honestly not sure where we go from here. Do we go this way? And there's another way through? Looks like this is all like a dead end. Dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end. Dead end. Okay, here we go. Right, so get out here. And this will lead us to... I'm guessing this will take us straight to the roof, so we might actually already be nearly done with this. So we got 20 in-game minutes left to clear out the rest of the zombies up here. Probably going to have some vultures, I would have thought. Um, would surprise me if we had some vultures up here. And there might be some good loot up the top. So we can pretty much start from the top and go from there. Uh, right, so there's some over here. Uh, I don't see any vultures, though. Oh, wait, is that one up there? No. Okay, so there's a couple over here. So let's try and get a... Hidden strike on this guy. Don't think it quite worked out, but that's all right. So we got a few businessmen up here, which is fine. Try and get a couple of uh, hits on these guys before the knight comes in. So there's one. There's two. Okay, let's go and knock this guy out as well. There's three, and then we got this guy over here. So we'll just let him get up. That's fine. One, two. Three and four. There we go. He's down. And is there any more behind here? I don't think so. I think that might be all of them. So I think, there we go. We've actually looted the entire area. All done and done. Excellent. So this building is now completely cleared out. So during the night, we can actually go ahead and loot this. So we may as well make use of the, may as well make use of the time. Like during the day, we can go ahead and like really quickly try and clean them out. And then during the night time is when we can then go and loot. Which sounds like a pretty good plan to me. It's night time. Gotta be really careful now. All right, so let's see what we have here. So we have one of these um, treasure chests right here with six silver nuggets in. Again, some good stuff for the trader. There is a ammo bag right here. Another pistol, so another like 20, 20, 20 something rounds. Not bad. All right, so shotgun shells. Let's see what we can find in here. Hopefully something pretty good. Uh, we have 15 shotgun shells. There we go. 
that work. And there's a safe here which we can uh, crack open with the sledgehammer. Well, hopefully we can. We might need a little bit more. Um, we might need a little bit more room um, to repair it. But we got a headlight. Okay, I guess I need. I guess I might need the headlight for a bicycle later. So we'll, we'll do that. And then we have this right here. Actually, okay, we searched the uh, searched that bag already. So let's go ahead and break our way through here. And hopefully we'll have something good in here. We will see. So yeah, the sledgehammer drains a lot of stamina, but it's actually not too bad, honestly. But yeah, right now you can see my sneak meters at 100%, because as I'm like whacking this thing, I'm kind of giving away my location to every single zombie in the area, so... Gotta be a little bit careful as I open this safe right now. Because any nearby zombies will figure out where I'm at. Which I don't want, because that'd be bad. Okay, so we're at 700, 600, 500, 400... And our sledgehammer is now out of durability. But I guess we can go ahead and use the stone axe to go ahead and just break out the rest of this as well. Yeah, that, that sucks that our sledgehammer ran out of durability so quick. But, you know, these, these things happen. It's not too bad. I mean, at least we didn't have to break in the entire safe. Because otherwise that would have been uh, that would have been really, really slow. So not to, it, it could be worse, guys, right? It could be worse. So let's go ahead and just go and uh, hammer our way through here. See if we get anything good in here. Hopefully we do. Some safes are really good. Other safes are really crappy. So hopefully this is going to be a decent safe. If it's a crappy safe, then I'm not going to be happy. If it's just, like, paper in here, I'm not going to be happy. Because I remember, like, breaking through to that, um... Like, a few episodes ago, we broke through to the friggin' uh, hidden stash box. There's, like, seven paper in it. I was like, you call that a hidden stash? I was like, that sucks. All right, what have we got in here? We have... There we go, 762s and some shotgun shells. Look at that. So we got already 27 shotgun shells ready to go. Excellent. Okay, so that's actually some pretty decent loot right there. Uh, let's have a quick look up here. I don't think there's anything up on these uh, on this little stair section right here. I think, yeah, there's just some landmines there, which we kind of want to watch out for. Nothing really much up here. I know it's a little bit dark, but once we head inside, it should um, it should brighten up a little bit because there's all kinds of light, lighting and stuff inside here. So let's go inside. There you go. So now you can see a little bit better. I wish you could pick these up and use them, though. Like, th those are flashlights that you should really be able to pick up. That'd be awesome. Right, let's drop down here. There we go. And now let's go ahead and start searching behind all the pictures and in here, see if we get anything good. There is a slow metabolism. That'll get my fortitude up. May as well read it. Um, and we can also get all the cloth out of these as well. So we'll go ahead and uh, now I cleared out all the sleepers. We shouldn't have to worry now about cloth or anything like that. We're also going to go ahead and get like things like scrap polymers and stuff like that. We're going to actually start taking those now because we are going to need those eventually to... Uh, once we get the Grease Monkey perk, we're going to need those to uh, build the bike anyway. So we may as well start taking them now while we can. Right, anything in here? Uh, nothing in there. Any clothing in here? Like good clothing? A Santa hat? Not really worried about the Santa hat, honestly. Like Santa hat actually gives armor rating. I think it counts like heavy armor or something, but really I'm not really too worried about it. I don't really want it. So that's fine. Let's go and take all the uh, all the stuff from here. Okay, because we do already have one. Uh, we already do have one wheel, but we're gonna need both sets of wheels to make our to make our bikes. So, can we get anything out of these? No, we can't get anything out of those. So we're all good. Right. So none of this is lootable. There's a gas rail there that we can take though. So good good trading item right there. We can take that. Um, right. So this fridge is open. Most of these cabinets are open. This one is not, however. So that just had some nitrate in, which I really don't want. We have nothing much there. What do we have in here? Glue. I'll take that. And we can scrap that. A washing machine, which has another another hoodie, which will protect us from the cold. Although we don't really need that. There we go. There's some more acid in that sink right there. That's awesome. And here we have pretty much nothing in there, so that's all good. Right, so there's more scrap polymers out of this. So yeah, there's another five. Because I think uh, per wheel you need 20. Um, and then I think you need more for like the actual vehicle itself as well. So you need quite a bit. So I may as well start, like, hoarding my resources now. Because that would be very handy. I think this is going to give me cloth, right? Yeah, that gives me cloth. So we'll keep uh, keep taking those as well. Um, take that. Scrap that. Take that. Scrap that. Alright, what have we got in here? We have nothing in there. Take those. Okay. Is there any other things here? Yeah, we can actually uh, harvest these as well. My stone axe is out of your ability already. Damn. I really need to get... Um, I probably need to invest in the intellect perk, don't I? Do I have any more uh, skill points to spend right now? Don't think we do. We're level 14. Oh, wait, I do. So do we get pack mule now, or do we get the intellect perk? Because um, pack mule uh, carries six more items uh, without being... Common. That's actually really good, though. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Strength is currently at 5, so we could even invest in something else. But maybe we need to get um, 
Maybe we need to get intellect to craft better items. That might be a that might be a thing right now. Uh, four quality items. Crafting is five percent faster. Hmm. Because we're gonna need intellect four for the hammer and forge perk. I might actually start working up this tree. There you go. We'll get we'll get intellect two because then I can start crafting at, at least quality two items, which will be. I think the durability is like much better on quality twos anyway, so that's always really good. So if we can craft quality two, that's gonna be very handy. Right, so is there anything else through here that um, I can do? There's a picture frame right there, which has nothing behind it. I always want to check behind these picture frames just in case there's anything there's anything decent in here. But yeah, at least it's like nice and bright in here, so we can pretty much see everything there is to see in these little sections. But I think that's everything. There's a bit of trash right there, which has a pipe. I'll take that. I'm not ready about the glass, but the pipes I'll take. Don't want to take. Uh, definitely want to take the short end pipes. Um, and then we can go back into this bottom section because there was some more loot to be had down here as well. This blue, this blue flashing light, where does it come from? Yeah, that, that projector over there. That's really creepy. It's really cool though. I love the way it's done. Okay, we'll pick that up as well because then we can scrap that for leather. Uh, we got five oil from there. Nice. I will take that. We will need that to make uh, the wheels, I believe. So I think we need coal for the wheels as well. Level two mining uh, football helmet even. Thing we can sell to the trader. Once we repair it, we can sell everything to the trader. Um, then we have a oven with actually a grill in here. Not that I really need it now because we already have our own. So that is absolutely fine. Washing machine, which has a cap. I don't really want it. Anything in here? Nope, nothing in there. Anything in here? Cooking fire in there. Nice. Kind of hoping for some better loot from the sinks, to be honest. But you know, sometimes sometimes you get good loot and sometimes you don't. So I think there might be something behind this. Let's have a look. Uh, is there? Oh, well, there's an ammo stash right here. Let's go and have a look in there. We got <laughs> six nine more rounds. Yes! That was awesome. Uh, bottle of water. Take it. <laughs> take it. Take all the things. We must take all the things, guys. More acid right there. I'll take that as well. Very good find. So, yeah, we're finding plenty of acid now. I think there's something else behind here as well. Let's have a quick look. Uh, there is a backpack. And what is in said backpack? Three of those jars. Okay, I'll take all those as well. Can we get um, plastics out of these still, I wonder? I know you used to be able to. You do. You get some polymers and iron out of these. So that's going to be handy. Let's go and break all these down. Going to take four hits each, and it doesn't really give you that much, but you do get quite a bit of XP from it. So it looks like you get between like one and three from each of these. Which is not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. So let's go ahead and uh, break all these down. Take this apart for the polymers and the iron. <laughs> this one's like upturned right here. This like there's a bit of a, a class rebellion going on right here. Because like that, that last one's just like upturned. They were just like, they're just like, nope, you're gonna learn today. And like the students were like, no! They just like upturned the entire the entire desk. So in here. Ah. Knew there was a purpose for this room. There's a secret in here. Okay, what have we got in this bag? We have nothing in said bag right here. That is absolutely fine. Always worth a look just to see. Any other hidden areas on the walls? Doesn't look like it. None of these bookshelves have anything in them. They've, those have already been looted, unfortunately. Okay, pick these out. There we go. And then we've also got uh, two bones in there. Not worried about those. Anything in the desk? Actually, take that up. Uh, can I loot this desk? Looks like I cannot loot that desk, nor can I loot that. Okay, so that desk is uh, non-lootable. Let's grab those chairs for leather, though. We'll take that. And let me see here. There is one trash bin just over here. There's some iron in. There we go. And then we can come down here. Right, now we've got that stuff done. We can go ahead and do the, the front section right here. Now, now, the good thing is we can actually destroy these in four hits now, so we can actually get through these a ton faster, which is really good. Look at that. Um, I will need a new stone axe pretty soon. Uh, can't get a quality two compound bow. We can't make those. Uh, we, can we can just find them, so... I don't know if a regular a regular bow quality two would be better, but to be honest, the compound bow has a lot of durability. Like compound bows have tons of durability compared to guns and everything. Like it's almost like their durability is multiplied by ten in comparison to like everything else. It's really weird actually how it works, but yeah, it's it's cool. Let's see what we got in here. So we have another load of desks right here. So yeah, it's pretty dark in here, but it's okay. We'll go ahead and make our way through here. Looks like that wall is a bit different than the others. One of these walls is not like the others. What is in here? Another one of those. What even are these things? I don't even know what they are. Okay, we have what we've got here. A Dead Eye magazine. I'll go ahead and take that as well. That is not bad. Dead Eye magazine is always handy to have. And then we have this last desk over here. So we got some scrap polymers out of here as well, which is really, really good. 
Always happy to get scrap polymers when we can. Yeah, seems these seems the people that run this place was kind of irresponsible. You know, it's like you find like I don't know, you find, you find like crossbow bolts on the school uh, crossbow bolts on a school bus, like upturned desk. It's almost like a mass murder went on in this place or something. It's like it's like hmm, it's kind of cool. It kind of gives you like a, an idea of some potential backstory that could have that could or couldn't have happened in these kind of places before the apocalypse broke out. Now I know these things we can break these tires down with a wrench to get more out of them. Um, so where is my base from here? Where's my buzzers bar? I think our buzzers bar is over this way. Yeah, buzz buzz back over this way. So we're gonna run back this way. Okay. Oh, I hear a um. Oh, there's a dude in here. Hang on. Hang on. Let me run back this way, and then go sneak mode so that when he runs out, he doesn't see me. Okay. So this dude's actually breaking out uh, this door for me here. That'd be good. If he can break this door out, then we can actually go and explore that place too. That'd actually be really good if we can. Right. Come here. There you go. Let's get him once in the face. Get him another time in the face. There we go. There you go. Three, four, and we're out of arrows, so we're going to have to use the... Oh, got him. Very nice. And down he goes. There we go. That finished that guy. So yeah, it looks like he actually opened out the prison section for us, which is really handy. So I have looted some of this junk already. Um, not really too much to find, to be perfectly honest. So let's go ahead and uh, drop, all our, drop all the loot off that we have over here. Is that another Z down there I see? Just down there. No, no, it's not. Okay. Not another Z. Okay, that's fine. So back to our little place we go. Definitely search this trash. I just want to make sure I've like searched everything around here as well. All right, there we go. So as you can see, like our loot is looking pretty good right now. As you can see, we've uh, we've got a fair bit. There we go. So we've got loads more of the um, loads more scrap polymers. Acid can also go in here. So I've got three acids so far. So that's really good. And one actual wheel, which is really really good. So let's take those. All these guys can just sit in here. I don't need to keep hold of all these. Um, and eventually, eventually we're going to kind of like collate all these together and you know do everything we need to. But for now, we're just going to dump all the rest of the loot straight in there. Got two pain pills now, which is really good. Because the bicycle handlebars, right? Um, so the bicycle handlebars, um, do they require a headlight? No, they just require forged iron. Um, so we need to find forged iron or get a forge working as well. Um, bicycle parts. Okay, the handlebars do not require a flashlight. Kind of surprising, actually, considering that a lot of bikes do actually have flashlights on them. Uh, or do have, like, head... Flashlights, I mean headlights, you know what I mean. Uh, considering, like, a lot of bikes do actually have headlights, it's kind of surprising. I would have thought that they would require those in a crafting recipe. But, you know, that's fine. If they don't, then I'm, I'm not going to complain. It makes uh, one less thing that I need to find. So, you know, that's, uh, that's always good. So I guess we can put the sledgehammer away till I get some forged iron to repair it. But, yeah, I kind of need to work my way up the, in in, up the intelligence tree. Um, okay, actually, now we're out here, we can go ahead and craft ourselves a new stone axe as well, right? Let's go ahead and craft ourselves a quality 2 one of these things. Because quality 2 is better than quality 1, of course. And let's get some stone arrows as well. There we go. So now i got a quality 2 one. Um, I could also get myself a quality 2 iron reinforced club as well, just to make it last a bit longer. It doesn't increase damage, but it allows you to mod it, and it increases the durability as well. So that's always good. Plus, then maybe, maybe I can try this um, fortifying grip, because I'm really not sure what this is used for. It looks like it's used on the tool handle. So maybe the iron re reinforced club can, can take it. Or maybe the axe can. Hang on. Modify. Can that take it? Oh, the axe can actually take it. Okay, so it looks like it's actually a tools kind of thing. Interesting. So yeah, maybe it's a melee weapons kind of thing that we can use. That is actually really good because you know you know I'm a, I'm a melee player. That's really cool because that will actually buff our fortitude as well, which is really nice. So yeah, that might work. Let's craft a quality two iron reinforced club then, and we'll go from there. So let's go and do one of those. So iron reinforced club. If I can if I can spell right, iron reinforced club. There we go. Quality two away and let's go and scrap our quality one iron reinforced club that'll give me 75 uh, iron back as well as you can see we've got i haven't really been like mining for iron we've got tons of it just like from breaking down doors and you know doing all that good stuff so yeah maybe i can mod an iron reinforced club to take that i don't need two compound bows on me do i <laughs> why do i have two compound bows i don't know um let's actually get that in the scrap queue and then cancel it and then we can actually get that one arrow. <laughs> we can get that. We can return that one arrow that we that we so desperately needed, guys. Uh, and now let's see if we can do this. Let's modify. Can that go onto it? It can. There we go. So now we now have a uh, modifier. So when we're below 50% health now, we gain one health every five seconds. That's like having Fortitude 4 under 50% health, which is actually really, really freaking cool. That is amazing. 
That is really good. So what we're going to do then is I think we're going to go back to some of these other buildings that we looted, and I'm going to see if I can start clear. Actually, let me get my um, let me get my wrench as well because I want to see if we can like start doing some salvaging. Because you can see there's all these ties in the road and everything that I kind of want to try and salvage, get some stuff out of them. So let me go and see uh, where the wrench is here. Because I know I did find a quality 2 one in here somewhere. There it is. Quality 2 wrench right here. Because yeah, we may as well start salvaging. Now you guys were saying with the tyres to use the wrench on those because you get tons more out of them. Um, so that's going to be pretty good as well. Because you can use the axe on these, but I think this will give me... Oh yeah, look at that. We're already getting... Yeah, look, we've already got already got like 5 polymers from that. Yeah, that, they gave me 8 polymers in, 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 uh, instead of like 2, maybe 3. So yeah, much better. There you go. Let's go and go a little bit carefully here as well. But yeah, we should really start uh, dismantling some of this stuff as well. Now, this is making quite a bit of noise, uh, so you have to be a little bit careful here. And actually using this is taking a lot of stamina here. So you got to be a little bit careful. Um, I could actually take off my armor as well, because I think that's actually uh, gimping my stamina regen. There you go. I love how the boots are greeted. That's awesome. There you go. So that should help me. Yeah, look at that. See, stamina's already full just from taking that off. So, yeah, stamina regen is fine. Uh, let me drink one of those again. I'm probably getting low on hydration. Yeah, I am. Okay. That'll explain it. So this will... Okay, let's raise it to like 92. Okay, let's see what we get out of here. I wonder if we get any... Uh, we get polymers out of this as well. But I'll be interested to see what we get out of cars. Got a headlight as well. Getting a nice little chunk of XP as well. Which is always handy. There we go. Uh, do we get any like forged iron out of here or anything? No, okay, we've already got 32 more scrap polymers though. That's really, really good. So I'll take that. And there's also... Oh, there's a uh, post box here that I never searched in. Paper probably? Yeah, paper. Nothing really much from them. But yeah, this building that over here I've already cleared out, so there's no there's no point like. Th oh, hang on, I hear, wandering horde maybe. Okay. Oh god! Oh god! Hi. Okay. Hi. Okay. Does that mean there are more? Okay. Hi, wolf. Bye, wolf. Okay. Let's harvest this guy. I don't know if that means there are more. Okay. This this guy snuck off of me. Oh god! Oh god! I hear another one. I, guess I I hear a zombie around here. I'm kind of kind of nervous about that. But Hang on, did I harvest the whole thing? 22 meat out of him. Not that much. Did his body just disappear? I, I swear I swear his body literally just disappeared. Huh. Okay. All right, let's go and harvest this as well. Now, if I got the salvage operations perk, I would actually get some more. But I'm not really too worried about that. If the wolf body is still here, it's probably like blending in really, really well with the surroundings here, because I cannot see it. Under under this light, I cannot see anything. Um, okay, let's go and grab these as well. Grab this car. See if we get any other good stuff out of here. So if we get gas out of this, we've got a brass car radius here. Oh, and we get oil out of this as well. Nice. Okay, so that's, uh, that's a good thing we can get. Okay, I think a zombie's heading my way. I do hear. I don't know if it's a wandering horde or anything. So I want to be a little bit careful. Because I have a feeling that some zombies are going to come running in. I can hear one in the distance. And I don't know if we're going to have another wandering horde running in. It's, it's getting really foggy now. Why do I have the feeling that I'm about to be killed? I don't know, but yeah. I kind of get that feeling right now. Okay. Try and get this out. Oh yes, yes, there are some coming. Okay, so yeah, that that sound is attracting them from a while away. I can hear, I can hear it. So I think we're attracting some. Just just from taking this car apart, we're we're attracting some. But I don't know where they are. Sounds like they're up here behind the building. Okay. Hmm. See if we can take this apart without attracting them. Right, last one. Got it. Okay, there you go. Right, so there are some Zeds around here, but I don't know where they're going. I don't know if they know that I know we're here. I thought that was a wolf then again. I thought that was a wolf. I was like, I was like, hmm. I was like, that, that, that looks like another one, but it wasn't. Thank God it wasn't another one. Right, I'm putting my armor back on. I'm putting this back on because I don't want to get the crap beaten out of me like right away, so... Yeah, we're going to go a little bit more carefully through here. Okay, oh crap. Okay, yeah, there is a... Um, 
there is a Z right here. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the one that kind of got attracted to where I was. Okay, we might better take it down at least. Okay. Okay, oh, there's more. Oh! She saw me! She saw me! Get down. Okay. She's down. There's another business suit up there. Okay, is that going to attract him? So I can make a little bit of noise there. Okay. No, it's not attracting him. Okay. So there's a business suit right here. I'll probably try and power attack him. Uh, if we're going to car on him. Okay, he's on a bit of a on a bit of a slant though, so I want to be a bit careful. Um, okay, or do I just arrow him? I do have some arrows. How many arrows do I have? I have six arrows. Maybe we can just take him. There we go. We can take him with arrows. There you go. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather take him with arrows if we can. There you go. So we did level up as well, which is a very awesome source. So that means we should now be able to get another good perk. Let's get intellect three. Let's actually start working on the intellect three now. We'll start. We'll start getting that because then we can get the. I think hammer and forge requires intellect four, but we can get master chef two next level as well, which should be another really good thing. Because that means, guys, steak and potato meals for days. All right. As long as we find a potato farm, that is. Right. There's a honey stump over there as well. Right. Right. Go on, you. Okay. Knock him down. Right, let's go and get this guy before he uh, tries anything funny. There we go. Very good. He's down. Yeah, we definitely want to go and finish off some of these zombies. I think some of these are from a previous Wandering Horde. So we'll go and take the arrows back as well. I think there's another nearby. It sounds like there's a few other zombies nearby. But yeah, nighttime hunting is really, really fun. Honestly, I love night. I love night hunting. It's like really tense and it's really fun. Okay, there's a bit of wasteland here, so I'm going to be a bit careful right here. There could be mines. Okay. Oh, there's a zombie there where I just was. Oh man, how lucky is that that I wasn't there? There we go. Got him once. Got him twice. Got him three times. Okay. He had a bit more than three strikes. Lucky for him. Okay. Is he standing still now? Oh, we're out of arrows, damn it. Okay. Can I go up to him really quietly and pluck an arrow out of him and try and shoot him again? Okay, he doesn't see me yet. Oh, okay, now he sees me. Got him! Yes, there we go. Whew. That's 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 the fun thing about night looting, though. Honestly, it's it's, it's awesome. Night looting is hilarious. Right, there are some more around here. I kind of want to clear this area before I go back in this building, just to see what I can salvage. But yeah, nighttime looting and salvaging is really fun. I'd rather do this in chop trees anyway. Let's let's put it that way. Oh god, there he is, right there. One crawler right here. Hello. Well, I don't really have to worry about this guy. I can just. And just do this, right, and kill him. There we go, right. He is finished off. Now I can get back inside here. And we should be able to go ahead and see what we can salvage in this little area here. Now, there is a gun safe in here, but unfortunately my sledgehammer did break, so, you know, I can't really go ahead and loot that just yet until we get our forge. But yeah, I think getting the forge up together is probably the next thing I'm going to need to do, because it does seem... Like, we are in need of some better stuff. So, yeah, getting the forge together is going to be good. Uh, nothing in there. Okay. Very, very dark in this little area. But is there anything we can salvage from here? Well, I mean, we could take apart this chemistry station right here. I don't know what this gives us. If it gives us forged iron, that's going to be awesome. It does. Gives you forged iron. There we go. So that means we can repair the sledgehammer, and then we can go ahead and open that safe as well. Very nice. All right, so let's see what we get here. So it looks like it's giving me wood, iron, the occasional bit of forged iron now and again. There you go, there's another bit. So short iron pipes and forged iron is now in our grasp. Okay, ooh. Yeah, we are attracting more. Okay, I don't I don't want the six core meal though, they can keep they honestly they can keep the core meal. That's fine. Do we get anything out of these lights? Let's have a look. What did that give you? Electrical parts, okay, nothing. Okay, uh oh. We're attracting another one. Okay. There you go. Kill this guy. There you go. Whew! Okay, yeah, we're attracting more. Yeah, so see that that um when you like have sound at hundred, it attracts them for days. Like they, they come from everywhere to come and find you. Right, I just wanna make sure there are no more before I start taking more apart. 
I don't think there's any more, so I think we're all good. Yeah, I think I think we're fine now. I think I, I like to think we're fine, but you never know. You, you can ne you can never be sure. And we didn't even search these uh, junk items in here either. I mean, I know it's only junk, but sometimes you get good stuff. In this case, we got absolutely nothing twice, but sometimes you get good stuff. I I repeat, sometimes that I, I didn't say all the time. And it's morning. Nice. It's now the morning, which is awesome sauce. Okay, you know what? Um, considering that they've opened that door for us, we may as well go and drop some stuff. Uh, may as well go and drop some stuff home. So quit looking these uh, in this trash as well. Nothing in these trash bags. Seems like it's a really dark morning though. It's it's an it's an anti morning. It's it's a it's a morning, but it's dark, so it's an anti morning. But yeah, sound attracts um, zombies from miles and miles away, so you got to be super careful. Okay. So let's go back and place in everything that we've got so far. So these guys can go back up in here. So Forge Dine can come and use, be used to repair. Okay, I see. We can repair our Fire Axe with that. We can repair our Sledgehammer with that. There we go. So now we can have the Fire Axe here. We can have this here. I don't need the wrench right now, so that can go in here. Uh, Sledgehammer is now ready to come back. Um, so I will go ahead and grab that. Where is it? Sledgy? Sledgy, where are you? Sledgy, where are you? You are where is somewhere. Did I get my hotbar? No, I didn't. Okay. Let's put everything else away then. I'll probably find it from thing too. There it is, right there. Uh, I'll put you in where the knife is right now. Um, knife can be repaired, but it's not really that damaged yet, so not not too worried about that. Um, and then pretty much everything else can just sit in here. Man, we're getting we're getting a full chest already. Look at this. Like our chest is like full to the brim with stuff, which is uh, which is absolutely amazing. So yeah, lots of stuff I could potentially sell to a trader as well, which is going to be very very handy. Uh, but it is now morning, so what we can do now is now that we've got the sledgehammer. And we got some feathers as well. Let's get some arrows made. Now we got the sledgehammer, we should be able to go back and hack open that gun safe in this store over here. Because that's another one that we didn't manage to hack open. So another gun safe will be very, very good to have a look and see what's inside it. There's a couple of other buildings over here. I think they're just ruined ones. I don't think there's anything... I don't think there's any, anything special about the buildings around here. They're just like all ruined, dilapidated ones. Nothing... No other decent buildings this way. No, nothing. nothing really good over there. So I think we'll come back for those, but let's go ahead and make our way back into here and we're going to go find that sledgehammer or not find the sledgehammer, find the gun safe and then use the sledgehammer to break it open. There we go. So low on stamina right now. I probably need to eat and drink, so let's go and do that. Eat, drink, and be merry. We are running out of uh, bacon and eggs though, but the good thing is we can now get grilled meat if we need it. So that's going to be handy. So this should fill me up to about 100% hydration. Now we can hack through here. There we go. And now I can start breaking through here. There we go. So yeah, we're doing pretty much... Um, I'm not sure how much extra damage we're doing right now. I think... Because I think, like, usually... We're, do we're doing, like, 15% extra damage or something than what we usually will with Sledge now. Which is really good. So... And we're actually not using that much stamina on uh, on Sledge Swings either. So... Seems that our um, attacks with heavy weapons are doing pretty good damage right now. Although the Sledgehammer doesn't really last long, so I kind of want to use it as, like, a pickaxe-type tool for now. Until we get an actual pickaxe, I would rather use this, because it makes it easier. Alright, so we're nearly through with this one. There you go, much quicker to get into gun safes by saving these. Much, much quicker. Uh, 86. And we're in. Right, what do we have in here? Oh my god, there's loads in here! There's loads in here! Look at this one! Wow! Okay, that is tons of loot! Alright, let's take that, we'll scrap that, we'll take this, we'll scrap this, and we'll scrap this. Oh man, so much loot in that one! How much ammo was in there? Like, seriously, how much ammo was in there? That was, that was insane. That was an insane amount of loot, just right there. We've got some mana rounds as well. Nice, there we go, we can add that to our scrapping queue. Wow! So, can, how, how many rounds are we packing now? 327 9 mils. We're doing pretty good on the rounds right now. That is not bad. We didn't even search that. I'm potato seed. I don't... I don't want your potato seed. I don't need your stinking potato seed. What do you take me for with your stinking potato seed? Yeah, we don't want those. All right, so let's go ahead and make our way back through here. See, that's pretty fun, guys. So we had a um, bit of a, a bit of a night salvaging operation, which is pretty cool. Always allows us to get a little bit of extra loot, which is uh, always uh, always definitely appreciated when we get a little bit extra there. Uh, so how many shotgun shells do we have like right now? Let's go and organize our chest here. Um, we have. 153 shotgun shells. We're doing pretty good on ammo right now. I'm impressed. We're doing pretty well. I didn't think we'd have that much, but we actually are doing all right. Um, I guess I don't need this cap either, so that will save us a slot. So I think then 
what we could do is go and do the prison, because now we got the sledgehammer, we can break through some of these iron doors, which should help us out a lot to get around the prison. So I think that's what we're going to do now. So let's make our way in here. So we got this little bit here. There is um, some bins and some doors over here. Let's go and have a quick look. Three casino coins in there. I think there's some other trash over here. Um, oh, we got a schematic right there. Take that one. And we have a can right there. Now, one of the Zeds did open this door over here. And it's a future girl. Now I'm gonna smack you with the club. Future girl. Down you go, you're laying on the floor. Future girl. Right. Let's deal with this one. See, as you can see, there's safes in here and everything. So you definitely want to hack into these. And there's probably some other good boxes. So what we can do is, while those guys are breaking in here, we can go ahead and break into these safes. Make it a racket as well. It might wake a load of sleepers up. Which is always handy. Yeah, making a racket is a good thing. So we'll break into this one here. See what we got. Okay, so some zombies are breaking through. But yeah, I think the only real good stuff is uh, around here, so... Make sure no one's coming inside there. I'm keeping an eye on that door to the right. Just make sure no other sleepers are just ambling in. Okay. Hit completely the wrong section then. Okay, so someone is clearly very angry outside. Clearly very, very angry. But that's okay. Right, so 494. Right, okay, here we go. Right, so he's broken out. Thank you very much for making an entrance for me. You have served your purpose. Now die. Okay, this one. And this one. And one, one more hit. There we go. Right, what is in the safe? We have more number rods. Hey, a quality two compound bow. There we go. That's better than my current one. So let's go ahead and... Okay, I think I need to scrap that. For some reason, stuff on slot number four needs to be scrapped and then kind of undone for you to equip it. I don't know why. Quality two hunting rifle. I'll, I'll keep hold of that for now because I'm not sure what my other one is. My other one might be a quality one. So yeah, the zombies have actually made me a route through there, which is very, ha very, very nice of them. Very much appreciated. Thank you very much, Mr. Zombie. There is a cheerleader right here. Hang on. Why is there cheerleaders in a prison? Hmm. Maybe she was in for visiting. No idea. All right, so other zombies are breaking down some entrances as well. I'm kind of happy to just, like, leave them to do it, because, you know, there's a lot of stuff to break into in this place. So the less durability I have to waste on my sledge, the better. Okay, so there's some chairs right here. Pick them up in the prison courtyard. Right, is there any more... Any more Zeds in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Hmm. Alright, we good? We good? Yeah, we're right. Alright, so there's a business dude right here. Alright, let's kill this guy quickly. Alright, he's done. There is a future girl. So many future girls in this prison. Okay, right, those guys can break out of there. So washing machine right here. Cloth, I'll take that. And there's another one right here. Let's go and loot these while those, while those zombies are so kindly doing the work for us. Let's go and have a look around all the other sections just to see what's around here. There's some toilets and stuff in here. Maybe just toilets up here. Let's just check for sleepers. That's more my concern right now. Okay. Okay. So how are we doing over here, guys? Okay. Oh, you broke out. Very good. Well done. Well done, Mr. Zombie. Have a reward. There you go. Good job, Mr. Zombie. I'm very proud of you. Right, so we got a cooking pot in there. And some stuff in here. Okay. Oh, hello. So I guess you got... Okay, you guys did break out. Well done, guys. You uh, you did a good job. All right, you guys, you guys deserve a very special reward right now. Right. Right, there we go. Let's back out here. Right. There you go. And then we have the business guy. Let's get him down. Did you do realize like dressing like that in the uh Oh we got Wandering Horde running in here? I have no idea. Looks like we might have. Cause these guys weren't here before. There we go. Let's kill you guys. There we go. Sounds like we might have a wandering horde coming through. Which if we do yeah, I think we do. Hang on, let's go out the front and have a look. I think we got a wandering horde just like slowly but surely breaking their way through here. Hang on a minute. Right, what's going on here? 
There you go, we got some outside the walls here. Okay, so yeah, some, some are like dropping off as well. Um, okay, there's a lady right here. Right, let's go and knock you out. Very good. And there's a guy over here as well. All right, all right, all right. No need to be on the walls. Calm down. I, I'm, I'm getting to you. Be patient. There you go. Yeah, I think there's a wandering horde coming through this area, honestly. Yeah, there's an Edgar over here as well. All right, come on, Edgar. Let's go and deal with you as well. All right, patience is a virtue. I mean, I mean, come on. Let, no need to flail your arms in anger. It's all right. There you go. We can get you out of the way as well. Very good. Okay. So I think that's that lot cleared out over here. So that leaves this room over here, which I think has all the good stuff in it. Yep, there is a um, there's a shotgun box over here, which has some more of these. Scrap the scrap the rifle there. Scrap this chair. And there are two more safes in here. Or are there three? There are three in here. Okay, what I'm going to do, guys, is really quickly break through these safes. Because um, this is going to take me a long, long time. Once I've got to break through these, I will go ahead and uh, come back on camera. And we can have a look and see what we got together. So let's go ahead and deal with this, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, all safes have now been opened. Let's go and have a look and see what we get. So inside safe number one, 24 steel arrows. Get rid of those. Inside safe number two, we have another compound bow tier two, another hunting rifle, and some more rounds. Scrap the hunting rifle. And inside the gun safe, hopefully we have something good in here. Oh, look at this. So we can scrap those, we can scrap those, and scrap those, and we got... Okay, so that, that gave me five shotgun shells. Okay, well... Okay, well that, that's better than no shotgun shells, but you know, we got some iron out of that, I guess. So not really the best, but... It's something, right? So, you know what? I'll settle for it. All right, so let's go and finish off this prison. Let's go and loot all these uh, all these toilets. There's nothing in there, really. If, if the cells are not open, I'm not going to spend my time. I'm not going to waste my time opening cells that are not opened because there's there's nothing in them, really, apart from loose. And we could just we could just search loose anywhere, so it doesn't really matter. I think there is another zombie coming in uh, to the jail as well. I did hear another one. Well, he was, he was around here, so let's go and have a look. So that's that one done. Uh, let's go ahead and search these top ones as well. Get all the mercury water out here, because then we can make some more regular water. Which would be handy. And we level up! Yay! So let's go ahead and put in another point. So, we now have... So, do we get intellect, or do we get... Yeah, let's get the next intellect. There we go. We're going to get that one. And that will un unlock Hammer and Forge, and it will unlock Grease Monkey. There we go, guys. So we can now finally start working on getting ourselves some better tools and a bike, which is going to be very, very cool. So I definitely want to work on that soon. For now, though, let's go and grab these. So yeah, if we can level up like one more time, we can get the forge together. There we go. Take that and scrap that. More rounds. Very nice. So we actually found a toilet pistol. Not actually found one of those yet in seven days. Uh, since uh, since A16, I've not found a toilet pistol like before. So that's actually really cool. Good to see they still exist. I'm glad to see they're much less common now, though, because it honestly felt like the... Um, it felt like when, when you get them that often, it really feels like the joke is overrated. Um, okay, so that's the same. Let's go and scrap both of those. And there's another Zed just, like, hanging out out here somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, there you are. All right. All right, keep your hair on. Let's kill these guys. There you go. Come on. No! Get out of it, you silly bugger. All right, well, there we go, guys. That is uh, two buildings in this episode looted and a load of stuff salvaged. So overall, I think we've done really, really well in this one. But we are now at a good point to go ahead and end off the episode. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye!